Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so this should be the fourth from final episode of this Let's Play, and I'll be playing as Taisha Se of Wu, the second from last Wu character I got in this LP as well. In 197 AD, Sun Se won a decisive victory against Liu Yang's forces. Among the captured officers was Taisha Se, who had fared equally against Sun Se in a duel but in the end fell victim to his lord's incompetence. However, Taisha Se had earned Sun Tzu's respect, and he was asked by the young leader to join his army. Taisha Se was eager to accept this offer, but he felt at first a tribute was in order. Thus, Taisha Se embarked on a quest to gather the remnant troops of Liu Yang's army, so that he may present them to Sun Tzu upon entering his service. Respect must be repaid with respect. That so much is true, like, if you want respect, you gotta earn it yourself. That kind of thing. Alright, so this mission, getting the level 11 weapon was a pain in the ass for me. But I did get the Demon Slayer, which is a level 20 Tiger Amulet, level 11 Wing Boots, level 16 Non-Mine Armor, and level 19 Herbal Remedy. So I won't be needing the Tiger Amulet for this mission. In this mission, I had to go with a very powerful build, just to, like get through the mission faster, it was so much of a pain. Like, you literally had to make sure that you kept at least 9 units alive just so you can get one of the events, like Huashin, to surrender, and then you had to get like another 3 units to get the weapon, plus you needed like 450 KOs, I believe, to get everything, I mean to get the weapon. So make sure that your units do not get destroyed, otherwise you fail. Like, you'll have some units following you. If all of them are defeated, you lose. I shall gather many troops as a tribute for Wu. There were some times I ran into some bad saves, because I would have to protect one unit, and then I had to go protect another unit, while another unit was destroyed all the time. Some of them will just go off on their own to take care of enemies, even though they're clearly outnumbered, and that's what gets them killed. I hated that, because they often act with a mind of their own. That being said, however, I should be very powerful for this. So I should have no problems now. There. Shui Li is defeated. It's always good to go with the little mini-map, because then you just keep the tabs on pretty much your own units. Remember, pay attention to, like, the, uh, blue splotches on the map. Each unit comes in, like, uh, units of three. And if all three of them are destroyed, that's one unit gone. So, in other words, if two soldiers are destroyed, you still have a unit. However, it's at a greater risk of being obliterated. To get a unit to join your side, it's usually, like, self de I mean, predetermined areas, or predetermined soldiers, once you get a little bit closer to them, they will then surrender and join you. So, basically, I had to make sure I had at least a minimum of nine units with me when I got to Hua Xin in the west. He will get ambushed. You gotta make sure you kill every single troop that ambushed him. And if you're too late, he will disappear and you won't get the weapon. But if you kill all the units on time, he will join you for good. Or at least until he gets killed. Which hopefully will not happen. And once you get like 12 units at once on your side, that's your weapon. And there's like a total of 15 units throughout the entire map. So there's little room for error in this. Nope, oh, there's actually some fighting going on right here. I better take care of that. I don't think I lost anyone, which is good. With two units, that's really a total of six soldiers. Please, take us with you. Okay, make that nine soldiers, because I just got those three. It's kind of confusing, and I'm thankful you can see, like, the health meters if you press L2 at least once. Because some of your units will still be wearing green. Thus making it a little bit more confusing. I feel like the Peacock Urn is not needed, because you're not going to be playing against Please, playable characters. Or fighting against playable characters. Therefore, the, the enemy officers you're going to be fighting are weak. Though some of them may be in hyper mode, 
you're still not as strong as like a playable officer that you gotta fight. There we go, I'm getting more units to defect just by walking next to them. Eventually Fan Neng will show up. He'll come right towards then. us. Let's search this area next. About that central battlement over there to the south of us, we can't go in there through this entrance. We have to go in there through the side entrance. Please take us with Okay, go over there and you get another unit, so that's a total of six. That's great news for us. Okay, Fanang should be approaching us shortly. He's got a lot of soldiers with him. That means a lot of casualties. I think they should have had like an objective where if you defeat an officer before killing too many of his own soldiers, that what's left will join you. That would add an interesting dynamic. There, Fanang is defeated. I see some archers. I don't like that. Oh, now the archers join you. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Now you have archers to join you. Hey, we're getting even more units to defend. That's great news for us. Now we have a total of eight. I don't know if you need, like, nine units all alive at once to get Pajin to surrender, but I highly recommend it. Remember, you're going to need at least 12 alive at once, so I might as well go for it. Again, I find it weird that they say it's Soon John's forces when Soon So was in charge. They did that for the original Dynasty Warriors 4 as well when you were playing as Soon So's forces, really. But, oh well. Just those little quips. They're no big deal. I don't believe there are any units around these gate captains over here. The thing I found annoying when I tried to get the weapon is while I was sealing these strongholds, my soldiers would just go off to the west, where they're dealing with enemies. And sometimes it causes their units to diminish. I'm only doing this just to make sure we don't get ambushed on both sides. If they don't listen. It's just the AI being dumb. Alright, I'm not going to worry about that stronghold over to the west. I mean, to the east. Ugh. Getting my cardinal directions messed up. I haven't really decided what Let's Play I'm going to start immediately after Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends finishes. Again, I have no desire to do the extreme mode because, well... <coughs> I'd rather wait till I'm doing Dynasty Warriors 5. And they may not be for several months or even over a year. Is there really still some fighting going on here in this little spot? It's just like one guy. I don't think he's capable of doing much, but I'll do it anyway. It's a good thing I went for the speed scroll, because I find like taking a horse, like getting off it and getting back on and then repeating over and over again got tedious. It actually slows you down more than you would think. Alright, so I mean, I do have some options for what my next Let's Play is going to be, like maybe Pac-Man World, or maybe a game that's not on my to-do list, but I might add it, because my to-do list is actually getting shorter. Plus, I believe that my friend uh, Ryan Bragg, aka NFM Punk 84 or no, the Show Off 84 or Avril Fan NF, as he used to be called, is getting a 3DS capture card. Which is pretty awesome, and he's actually going to let me, along with Pull NL112 and Pull at NL180, borrow it if we do Let's Plays up either a DS or a 3DS. Again, I would rather a 3DS capture card over a DS capture card, because you can do DS games off of 3DS. It may not look that great, however, it's still doable. So, it means I won't have to spend as much money to get my own device, but I'll have that option sometime down the road. Just don't expect it anytime soon, because I'm not in a rush to expand my already massive library. It's just letting you know that that option is there. Alright, so let's take out these units over here. Wow, I got like 10 under my control. Some of them are already engaging these scum. Ah, they're 
you're doing all right. I'm guessing the more high my morale is, the better that they are going to perform. Because technically, they're with me. All right, so I think I should focus on saving Hua Xin. So I want to stay to the west. So if I go to the east, my units are going to go around that way. There's a few slew of enemies there. There's also a slew of enemies on the other side of that fence. So I did not like doing this mission. It was so tedious. It was like Taisha Sub Babysitter Simulator 2014. Or well, I think it was 2004. I think it was 2004. No, 2003 when this game came out. Yeah, it was 2003. Yeah. Because I know it wasn't that long, like maybe two or three years after Dynasty Warriors 3 came out. Probably wasn't that long until Dynasty Warriors 5 came out. It looked a little bit revamped compared to 4. I know 3 was similar to 4 in terms of graphics. Physics were a little slight different, but oh well. Alright, so far so good. I mean, I haven't lost a unit. I like to keep it that way. There, sealing strongholds again will be your best friend. Because in this mission, they don't reseal or unseal. So that gives you a little bit of an edge. Fine, I'll just smash these pots. Make the Zelda fans happy. Zelda fans such as myself. I like how they sound so desperate. It's like if you don't if you don't let us join, we will die. And they probably will. Nope! Don't even think about it. You may have won the deadlock, but you lost the battle overall, girl. Nope! I let you guys swarm my units. And I'll show that guard tower who's boss. No, these are my own archers I was shooting those arrows, that's right. Alright, just let me clear up this battleman around here. And we should be done shortly, there. Alright, I think now I'll go south. I can find that some of my units are already fragmenting from the pack. They're just going of their own accord. Very few of them will come with me. me. Someone, anyone. Alright, so some of these units are pursuing Huashin are on horseback. So they'll just stick around you. Make sure I kill every single one of these soldiers before he escapes to the northern part of the map. My services in return. Good. Let us work together for the glory of Wu. Okay, now you can decide to go to the very south if you wanted to. So you'll find some units there. However, I would like to go with the remnants of my own troops. It looks like they're doing some fighting right now. It's good to have an actual officer to uh, do a little bit of mitigating of these tasks. Oh, some of Chen Hang's units are ready to rebel as well. I don't think I plan on getting all 15 units on me, because some of them are pretty hard to protect at once. Oh, I got 13? That's not bad. Alright, let's get across here. That's how we're gonna get in this battlement. This is too much. I can't do this any longer. Oh, I got even more defections. Traitor, you shall pay with your life. Okay, once you deal with Shen Hang, you me will also show up around here. So I think I'll wait for him. Good. We'll take this area. Oh, I lost the unit. And that was the ones to the southeast. I'm not worried, I still got 13 I units. 
so there's no way I'm gonna get all 15 if one of them already got killed. And they weren't long getting killed. I mean, they just recently defected and already died. So Chen Hang should be coming up. Once we defeat him, the mission's over. Remember, the way to win is to defeat all officers. No, wait, that's actually Hua Xin fighting. I believe Hua Xin didn't stay with Wu that long. He eventually went to Wei a few years later. I think he served as a uh, one of the ministers within the Wei political group. Around the time that Cao Pi was going to try to abdicate the throne. Well, the Emperor was to abdicate the throne to Cao Pi. really as great a man as you say? Yes, I sense the stirrings of a new age within that man. I have chosen to gamble on that. That a good enough tribute for you? Some of those troops actually walk right through my body. And that was actually a pretty lengthy mission due to the whole babysitting all your troops, that kind of thing. But we were able to get through it. I think I lost a few points just for not finding everybody. Alright, so we should take this time to enjoy the ending. We don't have that long left and we got everything done. Wu Officer, born in Huang in the Donglai region. <laughs> Dong. At the request of his mother, Taisha uh, Sei Beihai, Prefect Kong Rong, from peril when the castle was surrounded by yellow turbans. He then joined the ranks of local leader Liu Yang. Meanwhile, the young leader Sun Tzu was looking to expand his power, and he chose Liu Yang's territory in Wu as his next target. Taisha Tzu approached Sun Tzu on the battlefield and requested a duel. The duel ended in a draw, but Liu Yang's forces were defeated, and Taisha Tzu was captured. But Taisha Tzu had earned Sun Tzu's respect, and the young leader asked him to join his army. Taisha Tzu saw greatness within Sun Tzu and promised to join him, but first he insisted on gathering Liu Yang's remnant troops so that he could present them as a tribute to Sun Tzu. There was some indebted that Taisha Tzu would return, but Sun Tzu trusted his words. After a short time, Taisha Tzu indeed returned with the troops he had promised. Thereafter, Taisha Tzu became a central figure within the Wu army and brought glory to Sun Tzu in countless battles. His skill and valor earned him great respect from his lord and his fellow officers. Alright, so I shall stop the video right here. Next episode, we'll be playing as the last Wei officer, Dian Wei. See ya, everybody.